Hey there, so today we have another review and this is a beer from Cloudwater. This is IPA Equinot. So if you're not familiar with Equinot, it is formerly called Equinox, I assume trademarking issues, but this beer is 6.5% and yeah, interesting thing about this beer is that it uses Equinot and Simcoe uh, on the um, aroma or dry hopping. And then, uh, interesting stuff, yeah. The yeast is actually White Labs WLP001, so that is um, White Labs commercial example of Chico LE strain, California LE strain that uh, Sierra Nevada uses. I believe other half uses it as well. And as you see, you can still get a nice, beautiful, hazy beer, just like other half does. Um, I guess it's just different uh, uses in the process of when you dry hop and filtration, yada, yada. But Sierra Nevada uh, uses the same yeast strain or something similar. Pumping out beautiful, clear beer. This one's beautifully hazy, coming in in a, a light to medium gold color. Let's get the aroma on this one. Oh, yeah, it smells a little bit tropical. You maybe get a little bit of this kind of um, dried mango thing, maybe a little bit of berry. There's a nice rich earthiness underlying it as well. Um, but yeah, it's nice. It has a little bit of sweet kind of cantaloupe. It's a really interesting hop. A lot of things happening. Cheers. Mm. Really beautiful base beer on this one, 6.5%. Um, the malts, by the way, are Golden Promise, wheat, oats, uh, dextrose, monohydrate. So, uh, yeah, really just beautiful, silky body uh, from those uh, wheats and oats. Uh, on, on the hop profile, it's actually pretty interesting. It doesn't really fly as bright on the aroma, as, as much as the aroma. It really lays on a little bit of this kind of like dirty, soily, earthy kind of quality. That's the underlying base note of it, but there is a little bit of this kind of like wonderful kind of like green pepper kind of flavor. They call it fresh pepper, but for sure, uh, Equinot is uh, known for this really like vibrant, like, like fruity bell pepper, jalapeno pepper, raw jalapeno pepper kind of flavor. And it's actually accentuated because there's a little bit of this kind of yeast bite that I'm getting at the back of the throat. So it almost tricks you that this beer is spicy, which is really funny because that's how like, you know, flavor memory sort of work. You get the flavor on the palate, but then you also get the experience of a little bit of hint of burn. So now all of a sudden it tastes like a spicy <laughs> IPA. Mm. But yeah, underlying it, there is a wonderful kind of like a juicy orange, more of this kind of light melon note, uh, more tropical, a little bit of like mango pineapple underlying uh, their dancing as well. I'm uh, not really quite getting the berry on the flavor. But yeah, it's nice. For me, the hop is good. I just feel like it needs something a little bit more to um, play around with it. Um, it needs another, you know, few other hops that are like a little bit more vibrant and fruity to really play with this a little bit more. This one for me rides a little bit uh, harder on the pepper flavor and also that kind of earthiness that I'm getting on the palate. But as a base beer, it really is a well-executed recipe. Uh, I'm liking this beer. That's for rating. I mean, it's a beautiful, well done. New England style IPA, and it's coming out of England, which is insane. Um, let's go with the 95 on this one, uh, 94 on this one. Ninety-four, ninety-four, absolutely fantastic stuff. Uh, check it out. This is Cloudwater. Until next time, guys. Cheers. Later.